way back to Watford. Into the penalty area. It's a terrible challenge, and the referee has no doubt whatsoever. It's going to be Troy Deeney. Oh, and it's saved. Great save from Matthew Jilks. It wasn't a bad penalty from Deeney. No one attacking it in the penalty area, though, but Blackpool still maintain possession. It's prodded forward. The goalkeeper comes out. The ball's gone into the back of the net, but it's not going to count. Scrappy. Could give it straight back to Blackpool. And here goes Thomas Ince. So quick and elusive. Thomas Ince scores. He came on as a substitute in the second half. And the manager's son could well have given Blackpool a priceless three points. Ball. Um, you must be thrilled to get three points out of that. It seemed unlikely at one point, but you've got them in the end. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I thought, uh, to be fair, um, <clears throat> as you say, it's, it's fun to have speeches, you know, to really talk about when you talk about games like that. And um, first half, I mean, if it had been the boxing match, it would have been all over, to be honest. I mean, um, <clears throat> the penalty miss obviously helped us. Great save from Gillow. We go back to, um, I think, two weeks ago when um, Gillow was a little bit down because of the Middlesbrough. You know, go and um, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice has gone. And I've said to him now, listen, I told you, you know, Julian will save you more points and he will cost you. And, you know, the penalty save was a fantastic save. Um, but it was a blatant penalty. I said to the lads, and this is disappointing, I said to them, don't dive in. Because if you dive in, they're clever enough, you know, to skip round, you play little one twos. What do we do? Bash goes diving in, Bish goes diving in, gives a silly, stupid, stupid penalty away. And um, I thought we gave him too much respect first off. You know, I really, really did. And um, there's no reason why we had to. Yep, they're a very good side with very good players, and um, but we gave them too much respect and just stood off them, and um, that allowed them to play at their own tempo. Um, <clears throat> and yes, they hit the post. Gillo made some more, even more fantastic saves after that. But listen, you've got to stay in the game. As much as you know, you, you know, we didn't have posed much of a threat for the first half. You've got to stay in the game, and you know, we, if you talk about the players we've had, we've got. Um, you know, we've got play, Bishop playing right back as a centre mid. We've got Bish playing centre half as a centre mid. You know. We've, to be fair, I mean, I don't, I don't know how their boys do it. I really don't. Because it's, um, I said to them at half time, listen, don't show them respect. If you're going to go and press, go and press. You're going to get tight, go and get tight. I said, don't, you, the thing, no two halves are the same. And that, and that was a prime example. Second half, I thought we were by far the better side. By far the better side, created more and more chances. As well as they were far the better side in the first half, we were by far the better side in the second half. And um, could have won it by more than just one. Um, but listen, I'm not going to grumble. I think Zola will probably say that, you know, it should have been all over by half time and he's, he's probably right. But it wasn't. It wasn't. And, you know, you ride your luck, you stay in the game, you always got a chance of scoring and uh, that's what we did. Matt, great win today, 1 0 against Watford. Particularly busy for you, first half? Yeah, I think it was busy for everyone, first half. You know, they didn't have come at us um, early doors. Uh, we knew that was going to happen. Obviously, we got a lot of injuries uh, in the team. Um, we shuffled about a bit, but, you know, we stayed resolute and strong and, you know, kept it to nil at half time. Um, and they just nicked the win again, you know, like we did against Reading. So, you know, we're particularly pleased with the performance today. Game of two halves, really, because they were dominant first half, and the second half, you had very little to do. Well, no, no, but, uh, you know, we I think we grind teams down. was, you know, probably not a great team to play against, to be honest. You know, we're very uh, hard working, you know, for each other. And, um, you know, it pays dividend in the end. And like we say, we, you know, Inti comes on and scores a great goal, you know, puts us top of the league. 13 minutes gone, penalty. What was your view of the actual penalty itself? You couldn't complain that wasn't a penalty. <laughs> it was the most obvious penalty. You know, you can't argue with that. But uh, thankfully, it went the right way and, um, you know, saved it. And it, thankfully, it didn't go back to him as well. So, you know, I'm pleased with that. And more good saves, particularly after uh, forwards headed against the post and rebound from a few yards and lots and lots of work for you. you yeah. You must be really pleased. I am really pleased, obviously, you know, with my own performance. But uh, it's not about individuals at this club. And we, you know, Everyone says it, and you know it's a team, and we stick together. But you know, personally, yeah, you know, I'm very pleased. I go away now to to Scotland camp um, to work hard up there.